Hey, welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I'm your host, Phoenix, and today I got, I got Minho with me on this beautiful Saturday. Even though these don't go up on Saturdays, it's like a Tuesday or Thursday, but just just deal with it. We're, in, we're from the past. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know, you think after, like, 800 videos, I would know how to do a, an intro by now, and I still Oh, don't. that was perfect. <laughs> Was it? Because <laughs> I feel no. like it was. Okay. <laughs> I was already self-doubting myself, and you just confirmed that that was beautiful. <laughs> it was. Anyway, uh, the wheel was spun, and we got N X Reader, which is one of my favorite uh, fan fictions I think we've ever read, and also my, one of my favorite characters I've ever met in my entire life. So I'm very excited for this. You've what? never met him. What do you mean, N? I've met Ed. Yeah. Nope. No, one time my, my my friend at the time got me like an Etsy gift of like it's a it was a letter from N wishing me a happy birthday. <laughs> what? I didn't <laughs> I even know that was a thing. Yeah, there's people out there that like it's mainly on Etsy where they write they'll write you a letter disguised as an like a character that you like and then they're like just tell them the character plus like like specific things like wishing you happy birthday or like happy like like whatever the occasion is and like adding a little bit of fluff to it and when i if i oh. it's in the basement if i when i i'll go in the basement and pull out the letter for you to see at the end of this. that is that is interesting yeah i feel like um uh, you could probably go to chat gpt and just be like <laughs> write, write me a letter from ed and then just say your like details yeah to it and it then is- it'll write you a letter Dude, it was so beautifully written, too. Like, it was in, like, really nice handwriting. The paper that they put it on was very beautiful, too. Like, really, like, royalty. And they were like, I'll meet you at the Ferris wheel. And I was like, oh, my God, this is so cute. <laughs> okay. How much did you pay for that letter? I didn't pay anything. It was a, it was a birthday gift. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. But if I were to get one again, like, of, like, any character, I would want someone to get one of, like, Vox for me. So I could put it next to my shrine. I want a letter from, uh, Joe Biden. <laughs> yeah, throughout the entire thing, he forgets that he's writing the letter and just keeps readdressing you. <laughs> the misspellings. Goes off on tangents. He also <laughs> tells you to meet you at the Ferris wheel. <laughs> <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you, do you like mint chocolate chip ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what do we remember from this fan fiction that we read? Uh, uh, the main character is N. Yeah, well, our name is Joe Mama. We start off in the city that uh, Pokemon Black and White 2 take place in. We go to the ranch. We almost get our ass beat. N saves us, and then we find, like, a Bisharp, and we're like, wait, are you the same Ponner from f- f- six years ago? And then I guess we're having a flashback now. <laughs> <laughs> from That's what I remember. I remember me being very excited when N showed up. Like, like the emotion? That's it. <laughs> no other excitement <laughs> allowed. <laughs> that's it, yeah. Alright, this is called Lost Pokemon. Oh yeah, image credit by Little Mads on DeviantArt. Good for them to credit the artists, because I don't do that. <laughs> wow. Alright, do you want to be heads or tails? Uh... Heads. Okay. Eh. Oh fuck, it fell on the floor. <laughs> oh, it's tails. Alright, I'll be first. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, six years ago... I'm gonna scroll the fuck down. Hey, leave it alone! The little girl stood in front of the ponard, who was being teased and bullied by a group with a blue ponyard. Wait, is that the shiny form? <laughs> Yo, girl, you oh, gotta boy. catch it! It's one in 16,000 or some shit! D- do it! <laughs> a, but a garbivore and a leopard. Ponard on a. Pon- God damn it, I can't pronounce any of the favorites in this game. Ponard, on the ground, was a bit surprised that a human was helping it. The blue ponyard shook its head and laughed, not wanting to mess with the Riolu, who was beside the small trainer. The other Pokemon bullies followed. I can't believe you let a shiny flee. This is inaccurate to the Pokemon experience. (laughs) Is it? Yeah. 
I, uh, f- there was literally a, like a TikTok I saw right before this of like, like in the Pokemon games they make it so exciting like just get the Pokemon that you like and then like you'll you'll see Pokemon trainers like that too where they have like three Geo dudes and they're like happy like that where I Uh-oh. feel like in that universe it's it's like a like a piece like a dick move to make a competitive viable team. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I'll see if I can find it later. I was like, oh, that makes a good point because they encourage you to just get your favorites and just like have fun, and then you're over here like fucking EV training off of Audinos for HP IVs just to, just to beat up the gym leader. <laughs> the the little girl got close to the injured Ponard, who scooted back a little in suspicion. I won't hurt you. I just want to help, said the little girl with a big smile. Hi, my name is Joe Mama. Let me take you to the Pokemon Center. Have you heard about it? It's a place where Pokemon get healed in no time. The person who runs it is really nice. Parnard stared at the girl, and then at the Riolu, and then at the Oshawa. Parnard decided to take the kind offer. It didn't like it. It didn't like it. Uh, fuck. It's not like it wanted to stay there anyways. <laughs> It just got kicked out of its group, and maybe finding another group later would be better. However, bonding with with the girl and realizing how happy he was with her made him realize something. Not truly after, Ponard became one of Joe Mama's Pokemon. One night, Ponard stared at the sky that was full of stars. He didn't realize that Joe Mama woke up and was heading towards the Pokemon. She sat down next to him on the porch with her parents oh of her parents' house. Hey Ponard! I'm gonna make a promise to you and the others. I promise we'll make I'll make you all strong. And if we're really strong, then maybe we can challenge the Elite Four. Do you know that Grimsley has a, a Bisharp? Too cool. Ponyard po- Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, Ponyard agreed. <laughs> he he did want to get strong and make Joe Mama proud. I would wanna make Joe Mama proud too. <laughs> but that wasn't That wasn't everyone. Yeah. I always want to make Joe Mama proud. <laughs> Joe Mama for president. <laughs> it was until Team Plasma captured Ponyard. He tried to help Joe Mama, but couldn't do anything rather than see her cry, begging to give up her Pokemon from his view inside the cage. I'll give her back. God damn it. I fucking... Maybe we should get hammered. <laughs> Maybe my reading comprehension. You sure you're not, you sure you're not drinking right now? No, I gotta... Okay, okay, I have like three drinks next to me. A Dr. Pepper, a peach tea, and a water. <laughs> nice. All to quench my thirst. <laughs> Both Riolu and Oshawa were knocked out, and they couldn't help either. Scram, little girl. Your Pokemon is already Team Plasmas. Don't make us steal more of your Pokemon. Before she can stop them again, her brother, angry at Team Plasma's action, grabbed her hand and ran away. Back at the home, she couldn't stop crying. Everyone tried to comfort her, but nothing worked. He would try to bring her rice balls. Oh, you mean jelly-filled donuts? I, those are so good. <laughs> but it, but she wouldn't eat them. Taryn would also bring her favorite books, but she wouldn't read them. Bianca would bring her cute Lillipup, but Joe Mama was never interested. Even Alder would tell her stories that she was always interested in, but she never was in the mood. All she wanted was to see her ponyard again. Exceiver was a. Yeah, I forgot how we pronounced the brother's name. <laughs> Exceiver <laughs> was very angry. He hated Team Plasma. He hated that he is took like the pond. Ah, uh, I have no idea. I know this is an original character because there's no one in this series named that, at least to my knowledge. He hated seeing his little sister cry. Him and his Ralts, who was given to him by his mom and dad, wanted to get strong. So he decided So he decided when he grows up, he's gonna be a gym leader. To never lose to anyone ever again for Joe Mama. I every time we say the word Joe Mama, I'm thinking back to that one dude from the early days of animation where he's like, Yo mama <laughs> and we'll make yo mama jokes. <laughs> sure remember his name. It's he's like very tan jacked, pink shirt, blonde hair, and he's like, Yo mama <laughs> It sounds familiar. Yeah. And he was like, yo ma- he was like, you'll make yo mama jokes. I'm tr- God damn it. This is gonna bother me for the rest of this fucking thing. <laughs> Alright, finally, a real adventure. Oh, that's a nice image. 
Mm-hmm. Oh wait, no, that's not art. That's just from Pokemon Generations. No. <laughs> All right, Zier, wave. I'm just gonna say Zier. I think that's how it's pronounced. Zier waves goodbye to Sharon, thanking him. After he leaves, Zier heads towards the garden, looking around. That idiot really ditched, huh? He sighs, his head feeling heavy. After beating the challenger, the trainer told Zier that he saw someone in black following Joe Mama after she fled. He didn't think too much of it, but an hour pa- an hour has passed by, and he started to worry. Should he go look for her? Should he call her? Should, should he call her through the X transceiver? He paced back and forth, his protective brotherly instincts telling him to go look. God damn it, Joe Mama! Why did you have to leave? He then remembered that his sister was talking. Is that two spaces? That's two spaces. Wow! I Why can't would you put two spaces there, huh? Can't believe the shit. <laughs> look at this. Oh my god, so inconsistent. You see that? You I, think, this? I think so. <laughs> it's between the words his and sister. Oh. There's two spaces there. A millimeter. Oh my god, you're right! This is like a mile. <laughs> <laughs> it's a runway. That's, that's gotta be at least like 12 inches in between those two, two words. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he then remembered that his sister was talking about going on a picnic with Bianca this week. Zero grounds. Frustrated with himself. Stupid, stupid. Ah, I'm so stupid. <laughs> Zara shouted. He quickly ran towards the garage to grab his bicycle. If I go look for Joe Mama now, then... Zier! He quickly turned around, his eyes widening. A smile slowly appeared on his face. And this is where Zier and Galade... Galade... <laughs> Galade battle over other trainers. Galad. <laughs> Galad. I am Galad. He named them that. <laughs> oh, okay. It was the next day. Joe Mama was showing Bisharp around the gym and guarded. He looked around carefully, stunned that after all these years, Zier had become a gym leader. As the two of them walked around the garden, Hugh was walking down towards the gym before seeing Bisharp. He gasped and quickly hid behind a tree near the garden, hoping that they didn't hear him. Since when did Joe Mama get a Bisharp? He whispered. He peeked over the tree and looked around, quickly hopping over the fence but landing inside the bushes in a thud. Joe Mama and Bisharp heard the thuds and turned around cautious. Who's there? She asked, confusedly. Bisharp looks around and sees Hugh, but didn't recognize him. He ran towards Hugh and grabbed his jacket collar aggressively, thinking that he was an intruder. Hugh's eyes widened, his face turning white. He looked towards his friend. Joe Mama, it's gonna kill me. Help me now, he pleaded, terrified. She noticed it was Hugh and quickly ran to them, assuring Bisharp that they were in no harm. Bisharp releases him but was still keeping an eye on him. It, it's all right, Bisharp, said Joe Mama calmly. He's a friend of mine. Do you remember Hugh? Bishop stares at her uncertain and looks at Hugh, trying hard to remember this individual with the quillfish hair. She smiles and turns to Hugh. Are you sneaking around? The garden is free for everyone to visit. Hugh coughed, blushing. He also didn't know why he was sneaking around. Well, my lovely Joe Mama, you finally <laughs> said. <laughs> uh, I came by to tell you that I'm going on an adventure around Unova, traveling for the most part. So I just came by to say goodbye before I left. He looked away. And I want you to come with me. Joe Mama stared at him. Her eyes then shined. And adventure? She says quietly. I guess that's supposed to be Anne. <laughs> uh, she suddenly grabs Hugh's hand, surprising him. Of course, I'll come with you. Take me with you, she says happily. Hugh gags and pulls away, embarrassed, trying to hide his red face. Suddenly, he sees Zier glaring at him through the window of the house. He gulps. Oh. Someone doesn't like that. Probably Xavier. (laughs) (laughs) 
Oh, so I just sorry. I got real distracted. I got a I right before this. I put in an offer for a thing I wanted, and they just got back to me, and they accepted it. So I'm getting my fucking plushie. So more shit for the bed bar. <laughs> Oh my, you're getting more. Yeah. No, af after this recording, I should turn on my camera and show you. There's like a plush pile. <laughs> it's yeah, it's getting out of control. before. But how long ago was that? It's gotten bigger. <laughs> oh my god. There's currently more like approaching my location at, as we speak. <laughs> Wait, Castilia City arrived. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, weren't they just at the ranch? Or am I crazy? Uh, Weren't they in the Cussy Town? Is that where the gardens are? That's not how you say the town, by the way. I just I just don't know how to say it normally. <laughs> <laughs> La Canosa? La Canosa Town? I don't know. They still gotta go through Verbank. There's still two two gyms they gotta go before Castilia. They gotta get the story correct. Big time skip. Yeah. It better be, or else I'm gonna be very upset. <laughs> All right. Oh my god, can we get Costilia cones? Those are so cool. They're like they're uh, they're modeled after the the little guy of Vanillite. And they're just ice cream cones that can heal any status condition. I they're... wanna eat the Pokemon. I mean it is an ice cream type Pokemon. You know there is a Pokemon that you can eat? Uh I think it's called Appleton, and it's an apple. I th actually I'm thinking of the, the... Okay, there's Applin, and then there's Flaplin, which it's like a bird-looking thing that flies. I th the the other evolution is like this dinosaur-looking ass, and it, it has the hump that is like apple pie. You and it's, it's stated in the Pokedex entry that people tend to eat, like, parts of its body. <laughs> Wait, there actually is a Pokemon called Applin. Wow. And I'm just looking at this image yes and i gotta say the creativity they had to have when designing this pokemon off the charts yeah they're <laughs> yeah the, <laughs> they're like oh fuck we need one more pokemon for the pokedex thing oh shit we need one more evolution what do we do what do we do and then the guy pulled out his lunchbox and pulled out an apple he's like guys i have the best idea ever and then they made oh, apple you know that Orange thing's grass lemon, dragon lemon, lin, lime lin, yeah. mango lin. yeah <laughs> You know what that thing is? Grass dragon. That's a dragon. Oh, I'm seeing the evolution. Yeah, it looks like it. The, the not the one that's flying. The one that's like on four legs and on the ground. That one you canonically can eat. But you oh, need nice. the, some of its back. Yeah. All right. Oh, not the whole thing. Yeah, not the whole. Oh my god, you're gonna be one of those people that, like, if we were in the Pokemon world, you would eat Slowpoke tails that are, like, <laughs> in danger. Say, that me. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm getting distracted. I, of course, when I'm busy, people message me for stupid shit. <laughs> just, just leave me alone. <laughs> I'm trying to read fucking fanfic. <laughs> Alright, Castilia City arrived. Credit to. Oh, create an image. Cute image for the Pokemon card collection. Actually, yeah, that does look like a Pokemon card. Okay. Hugh, Joe Mama, and Samurad headed to Verbank City on the to go on shore. As they made their way, Hugh glanced at Joe Mama multiple times. Does everyone in this fucking universe have a crush on Joe Mama? Because doesn't Charon also, and then Hugh... <laughs> I mean, everyone loves Joe Mama. Yeah, everyone... <laughs> Everyone's got a thing for Joe Mama. <laughs> Everyone. Seeing her smile, all excited just to go around Unova, he couldn't help but smile too. It had been a long time since she's been this happy. She chuckled and he chuckled amused. Whatever, whenever he, she would talk about seeing Elisa, Bryson, Drayden, and the others again. What and what others again? We've been here already. This is some crazy shit. It's been such a long time since I've seen them. I can't wait. He sighed. Don't get distracted, though. Team Plasma's still out there. She nodded, most likely not paying attention. He shook his head, being reminded of something. I better keep an eye on you, he said. C cynical? I can read. Like, <laughs> cynically. Nice. She stared at him uncertain. Wait, <laughs> thank you. Put a gold star next to my name. Phoenix can read words. <laughs> <laughs> 
That, that was probably better than earlier. <laughs> I, I just did a Super Paper Mario recording. I think I butchered most of the lines that I had. <laughs> every, every paragraph, there was at least one or two words that I just fucked up for no reason. And they were just common English words, and I, <laughs> I can't fucking read. <laughs> <laughs> just a sweet shot. She? Uh, oh, it says she. <laughs> she talked. <laughs> She stared at him uncertain. What do you mean? Let's just say your brother threatened to hurt me. Why wouldn't, wouldn't he want? Yeah, fuck. Oh, God damn it. I can't read. <laughs> As I can't speak either. Maybe I should get like a. What is it? A brain scan? Like a, C an, a CIT? No, that's not it. <laughs> Pet scan? I think I just need my brain scanned. I need to see if, like, maybe the left side of my brain is smaller than my right side. <laughs> we need a scan to see if it's, uh, existent. Yeah. <laughs> As they step forward inside this- <laughs> step forward inside the city, they decided to pay a- pay a visit. They headed towards Roxy's gym, making their way downstairs to the gym basement. They're they could hear loud music, meaning that there was a Pokemon battle happening. When the challenger's Pokemon is unable to battle, the winner is Roxy and her coughing. Once they were down, they saw Roxy and the challenger shake hands. They made their way towards her, Roxy noticing them. She grinned and hugged Joe Mama and patted Sam on the head and then slapping Hugh on the back. Well, it's about time you guys visit my gym, said Roxy. She looked at Hugh, her face unimpressed. Seriously, dude, you still have that co coil fish hairstyle? <laughs> He frowned, smirking, and I see you still have an attitude. She laughed. Just get out here and get out there. Just fuck, goddamn. <laughs> Just get out of here and get traveling. She pushed him towards the exit and wait goodbye. What was that one GTA Five name? It was like, it was like, <laughs> it's like yee yee ass haircut or something. <laughs> oh, I know what you. Maybe you got really old yee yee ass haircut. Maybe some more bitches on your dick. Or maybe Felicia will call you dog ass bitch. <laughs> if she done fucking cool that lawyer doctor. <laughs> exactly. I don't want her just roasting his hair all the time. Yeah. I want to find it later. My, my favorite one of those is when people mod the game so another character says it. Like, like I, I saw one where they had Tails say it. <laughs> <laughs> It's just so out of care because the, the another guy is like a normal human. Everything else is fine. It's just that dude is tails. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see ya. Don't forget to say hi to my dad. Oh yeah, I forgot her dad's the boating guy. He's the captain. Yeah, I'm so smart. <sighs> the air hit their faces and small splashes of water dropped on their clothing. Joe, Mama, and Hugh began their journey. Next stop, Castilia City, yelled Roxy's dad. The boat then began to slowly stop at the deck. They got off the boat, exiting to explore the city. After they thanked Roxy's dad, they they hit off. Alright, Joe Mama, you and Sam are away here. I'll get a map. We gotta go to Nabasa, Driftvale, and so on. So, you gotta... So, we gotta make sure that we don't get lost. Hugh stared at them serious, hoping that they would follow. They nodded happily. Looking around the city, he sighed and walked away. <laughs> also, I, I find it funny that they're just, like, speedrunning through this shit. They're not getting any of the gym badges, which is a requirement to even go there. <laughs> in the Pokemon League in the first place. They just said hi to Roxy. Yeah. They're like, alright, can we uh, can we please see your badges so we can confirm if you can uh, attend this uh, Victory Road? And we're like, yeah, no problem. And it's, like, made out of cardboard. <laughs> With, like, marker. <laughs> for, like, the jewels. <laughs> And you're like, mm, yeah, it looks fine to me. Yeah, Welcome in. <laughs> I should have known you and Samra would be here. After finding the, the two at the Cosilia Cone ice cream stand where Hugh had found them before they got lost, they headed to the streets. Joe Mama licked her ice cream while holding Samurats. For Arceus' sake, Joe Mama, can't you just sit still? Hugh said angrily. She glanced at him innocently. I can't help it. They're just so delicious. And I'm so and I'm sorry, Hugh. He sighed, irritated. I nearly lost you. She rolled her eyes and held up the cone to his face, smiling. Want some? He blushed. Yes. <laughs> Does everyone have a heart on for us? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Everyone likes Joe Mama, what can yeah. I say? Alright, Bergen Root. 
Bergen root. Burge? Berg? Yes. Berg. <laughs> okay. Berg. Borger. Image credit to Pokemon Bulbapedia. It's a nice background. Yay! Hmm. What to paint? Burge? Is it Burge or Berg? I think it's Berg. Berg? Yeah. Okay. Berg. <gasps> <laughs> Why is there an H there? It's Berg. Berg tapped his brush, staring at his blank canvas. He turned to his Levani. Le Levani? Levani. Levani. Yeah, put respect on Levani's name, Minel. Oh my god, I'm not gonna respect it because I see another two spaces. You see Wait, that? really? <laughs> where is it? Wait, where it's is in it? It's between the next and two. Oh god. I looked around the business. Where the fuck do you see this? You have an eye for pointing at mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck is it? He turned to his leave and he stood next to him. Oh fuck, I don't see that. <laughs> Wait, the next two? I'm, you see I'm the words looking. Next <laughs> oh, we're, we're at the I found it. Oh wait, I found another one! <laughs> Where? In between the, the little quotations and then he. There's two spaces. Unprofessional. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. Literally unplayable. Yeah, I can't believe this shit. <laughs> um, just roast this author out of his two spaces, it's fine. Um, to him making a silk blanket. Artist block is such a rumble, don't you agree? I think I'm gonna head out. He grinned and pat Ludani on the head and walked out of his gym, heading to the streets. He looked around, seeing business businessmen and women walking in a hurry. However, he spotted someone very different and unique looking. He had a black and white cap with cool looking jewelry. No way. I found another one! <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> cool looking. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow, you, are li <laughs> you have a knack for this. You're like, yep, double space, double space, double space. <laughs> uh, uh, oh my, what gorgeous hair, exclaimed Berg. He quickly headed towards N and smiled. You who, excuse me. N startled, turned around, and flinched when he saw who it was. Berg stared at him, his eyes narrowing at his face. Oh, you seem familiar. N, was it? Weren't we all at the Pokemon League two years ago? N nodded hesitantly, looking behind the corner of the street. Confused, Berg looked past him, wondering what he was concerned about. He noticed Joe Mama. That's another one. That's another two spaces. God damn it. <laughs> Q and Samurott standing there talking. Berg gasped and turned to N confusedly. Why are you staring at my precious Joe Mama and Samurott? He glanced at him bleakly, lowering his hat. I better get going. He fled off quickly, leaving Berg dumbfounded but concerned. Suddenly, he heard his name called. He turned around and saw Joe Mama run to him, giving him a hug. He smiled and spin her around, glancing at Samrot and Hugh, who walked towards them. I'm so glad to see you, Berg, she said happily. He chuckled, putting his hand on her shoulder. And I'm glad you're here, my muse. I was starting to wor one, uh, worry that you had forgotten about your handsome bug lover friends. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute, did, did he just- Wait, did Burke say I'm glad to see- I'm glad you're here, my muse? <laughs> yes. Doesn't yes. that mean some kind of god? Hold on. <laughs> I thought it was like- What is a muse? Uh, hold on. I thought it was a god. Meaning. I'm using a phrase referring to a person who inspires an artist's work. Huh, okay. Artist inspiration. I mean, Often filmmakers talk about a certain actor right. being a muse. It does say in, uh, in Greek religion, the muses are the goddesses of, like, literature, science, and arts. Dude, I'm so smart. I like how I only know that because of Gravity Falls. That's really fucking funny. <laughs> Just random trivia that you know. Yeah. I mean, that's what Jeopardy is. It's just random trivia. 
Exactly. Remember Trivia Crack? What? <laughs> trivia Crack? No. <laughs> you don't, you've never played Trivia Crack in like middle school or something? No, I that's, that's, that's bold of you to assume I had friends in middle school, man. <laughs> <laughs> you could play it single player. Yeah, but that's kind of sad to play a game by yourself. <laughs> It's like an online thing. Oh, really? Well, it, I wouldn't know I, that. It's online and you can play with friends, too. Huh. Yeah, sorry you didn't have those. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, forgotten about your handsome bug lover friends. He rolled his eyes, looking at the map in his hands. Well, we should get going. We still need to get through here and then head to Route 4. And that means... Nimbasa City. N yeah. yeah. Nimbasa? Nim Nimbasa. Nimbasa. Nimbasa City. Joe Mama nodded and gave Berg one last hug. They waved goodbye but didn't notice and secretly hearing them. He sighed and looking up at the sky that towered he, oh, he sighed looking up at the sky that towered with tall buildings. Nimbasa City, huh? As they made their way towards Route 4, Samurai looked at his trainer a bit sad. She noticed his face and scratched his white fur. What is it, buddy? Hugh, hold on. They stopped walking, worried about the Pokemon. Samurott then nudged Hugh's hand, which was holding the map. Intrigued, he opened it and let Samurott see it. He then placed his nose on top of a location. Nuvema Town. Joe Mama's eyes widened. That's where we used to live. It was a long time ago when Joe Mama was uh, only six. That was also when her parents were alive. No. <laughs> Damn. Hey. Sorry hey, to hear that. Just drop that. <laughs> Samurott and Lucario were only small Pokemon when they were with them. Bisharp still not in the picture. How she wished she got to meet her parents. They were all happy in a lovely family until the accident. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I should laugh. <laughs> You're laughing at an orphan's freaking Joe Mama. I'm sorry. How dare you? I said I'm sorry. To... <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll just that's just the uh, go to, I guess. You're sorry. Yeah. It fixes everything. <laughs> yeah. They had to move to Flockacy Town. Is it Flockacy? Flocessy? Flockacy? <laughs> That's the one you were trying to pronounce? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I can't remember it, Flacussie Town. <laughs> Flacussie Town, in Alder's home for a couple years until Zier was old enough. She looked at Samurott with a sad smile. I know how you feel, buddy, but we gotta keep moving. Novemba is pretty far away, but I promise we'll go there someday, okay? Samurott, trusting his trainer, nodded. Hugh sighed looking at the gate that leads to Route 4, and then to Nimbasa. Well, let's go then. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god, the fifth- I fucking that, called like, it! <laughs> they just dropped the whole tragedy in one paragraph before the next chapter. Bro, sh don't forget about the trauma, dude. We're about to get in a Ferris wheel with N. Hold on, I gotta read this comic. Somewhere in- no. In thing. Forget the dead parents. Yeah. Wait, this, this is a beautiful comic. Does this mean I- I like you or something? Wait, what? <laughs> this is beautiful. This is how I felt when I got on that Ferris wheel with N for the first time. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, oh fuck, you know what was really funny back then too? Like, like if you want, like when you started liking him too, and you and the invite you on the Ferris wheel, and you're like, oh my god, this is like, are we about to romance end right now? And then you get on the Ferris wheel with him. He's like, I have a secret to tell you. I'm the king of of Team Plasma, and I'm the next I'm the next leader that's gonna take over the universe. Ranger. And you're like, wait, what? <laughs> Dang. <laughs> that's not what I wanted to hear. I thought you were about to confess your feelings to me. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so your hopes and dreams get crushed by a single man in green hair. They get better though. It's like a it's like an enemies to lovers story after that. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just... <laughs> All right, what is this chapter called? Oh yeah, Ferris wheel. I I just went off on a tangent about the Ferris wheel. <laughs> Maybe we should be hammered for this. 
As they walked to Route 4, Joe Mama gazed at the buildings. She couldn't believe that this route, which used to only be covered in sand in a single street, had construction built here. She peeked over the street where the Relic Castle ruins were located in the desert resort. Hugh noticed her curiosity. Hey, Joe Mama, he said, reposeful, whatever the f yeah. We're only heading to Nabasa City. Let's not get sidetracked with other things. She nodded, a bit disappointed, but they continue walking. No, do the journey thing! You're supposed to explore! What about the cigalette that's over there? <laughs> <laughs> now in Nabasa City, they looked around the area. The light blue sky, the attractions, making kids shout happily. The wonderful colors surrounding the city. It amazed them. A lot has changed over the years. How apparently Elise's old gym, which had a roller coaster inside, was open for everyone. As Hugh and Joe Mom as Hugh and Joe Mama and Samurai walked through the park, she noticed the old Ferris wheel she used to ride. She gasped and turned to Hugh excitedly. It's the Ferris wheel! Let's ride it together, Hugh, like old times. He turned towards her and shook his head, not interested. It's going to get dark soon. We need to find a motel or something. Plus, I'm really tired, Joe Mama. We can ride it tomorrow and then greet Elisa. He yawned and walked away. Samara agreed with him and followed. She stood alone, displeased, sighing sadly. I don't want to ride alone, she quietly muttered. Well, don't worry, because you can't even ride it alone. <laughs> they won't let you. <laughs> oh, they don't? Yeah, it's it's requiring the game that you have to ride with two people. <laughs> Rip loners. Yeah. That means you can ride it with your friends. <laughs> Before she can head towards- You tried to write it in uh, middle school, and then you can't do that, right? Fuck you. <laughs> go, fuck, go fuck yourself. That was yeah, a I'm low blow. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, you know, that was if so you wanted to write it. That was so fucked up of you to say. <laughs> so, no, I'm kidding. That, that, no, that was a good burn, to be completely honest. <laughs> <laughs> Before she could head towards Hugh, however, a hand grabbed her arm. She turned and quickly turned quickly and her eyes widened in shock at who it was. It was N, his eyes staring into hers mysteriously. She pulled away and stared at him unpleasant. Yeah, I wouldn't have stared at him unpleasant. It would have been pleasantly, but I guess we can we can work around this mishap. <laughs> he <laughs> smiled innocently, scratching his head. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you, he said, apologetic. Joe Mama said nothing, remembering Alder's caution. They awkwardly glanced at each other before Anne looked towards the Ferris wheel. I didn't mean to overhear your conversation with your friend, but I heard that you wanted to ride the Ferris wheel. She nodded, still distant from him. and smiled and held his hand towards Joe Mama. Then ride the Ferris wheel with me. And you say yes. We say yes, and we get on the Ferris wheel. Alright? <laughs> we get on there as fast as possible! <laughs> <laughs> Joe Mama looked away from N, who then slowly went up. Their capsule... Stopped at the top without daring to move. He stared at her in an intriguing way. She coughed, giving him a false, a fake smile at him. Why would you give him a fake smile? Just, just, just be nice. <laughs> Love All him. Right, it's not you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not? No. Damn it. It's your mama. <laughs> your mama. <laughs> he stared. Oh, I already read that. So, um, nice weather we got up here, uh, she says, trying not to sound uncomfortable, and Shreckle is shaking his head. I see you're trying to break the silence. I appreciate that. Let me do the talking. He said, he sat up straight, looking a bit more serious. Joe Mama, do you not remember me? She gave Emma a confused look. What do you mean? You're the guy that helped me and my Pokemon, right? She, she he stared at her st stunned and quickly shook his head. I mean, when you were... Younger. Joe Mama thought for a moment and shook her head. I don't remember anyone with green hair like yours. He sat there silently and, and, sat, and smiled sadly, seemingly heartbroken. Never mind. No! <laughs> I don't want to make him upset at me! Redo the option choices! <laughs> <laughs> he looked away towards the glass, staring at the beautiful night. You really don't remember. Joe Mama stared at him and then frowned. Look, I have no idea what you're talking about, but if you're trying to gain my trust, I won't allow it. And turned to her surprise, giving a terrified glance at her. She continued, Alder told me that you still think people and Pokemon should be separated, and if you're trying to persuade me, think again. I know you're the team, the team Plasma King. 
the ride ended and Joe Mama stormed off and chased after her. Joe Mama, wait, this is not how I wanted my Ferris wheel date to go. This, this is one star. <laughs> <laughs> she turned around, irritated. He shook her he his head. Alder is lying. I don't want to separate people in Pokemon. He grabbed her hand. I, wait a minute. He, <laughs> wait, this is only label complete, right? This is this isn't gonna turn to like some mature ass shit, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. I want you. Joe Mama! <laughs> Hugh and Samurai stared at them, Hugh feeling resentful. He ran towards them and slapped En's hand away. Let her go, he said ominously, and stared at him. I'll talk to you later, Joe Mama. He headed off towards Route 5, disappearing. They stared at him, leaving until Hugh hugged her, surprising her. He pulled away, looking- He pulled away, looking away. I thought you were behind me. Don't scare me like that. I promise to take care of you. Idiot. <laughs> Call me idiot. Oh, sorry. Also, without any context, I don't know where this comic comes from, but it from it's tr from Char Chan, and it says y your mom. <laughs> I don't know where this comes from, but I feel like it resonates with me. <laughs> Dazzling Spears, an underground boss. Oh, underground boss. What is this? The mafia? Anyway, that was dumb. maybe. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Uh, the next day, the group headed on towards Elisa's new gem to pay a visit. When they got to the entrance, they saw security guards standing. Sorry, just <laughs> some other this. Is it another double space? It is. Yeah, it's, it's between guards and standing. Is that why you guards did a pause? <laughs> yeah. I was like, hmm. <laughs> I was looking at it closely. One of them lifted up his glasses in a cool manner. If it isn't Zare's little sister, are you here to see Elisa? Hugh and Joe Mama glanced at each other. She turned to the guard. Yup. Is she busy? The guard nodded. She's about to have a Pokemon battle against another gym leader, Clay. I'll get you some seats. Don't want Elisa, Elisa to find out about her fa find out her favorite girl standing around. Joe Mama blushed, clearly flattered. Hugh rolled his eyes. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, the announcer shouted. Today's battle is going to shock you. Gym leader Elisa versus Driftfield City uh, leader Clay. The whole crowd cheered, making it feel like the building was shaking. Hugh and Joe Mama grinned excitedly. Elisa, which Pokemon will you choose? Elisa looked around, dazzling the stage. She faced the audience, who cheered loudly. Uh, well, dear, I must say it's difficult for people to draw out a Pokemon's charm if they don't have any themselves, so I'll use Amolga. She then threw her Pokeball in the air, and Amolga came out, flying elegantly. The announcer smiled, turning to Clay. Which Pokemon will you choose? Clay lifted up his cowboy hat, glaring at Elisa. I think it's about time for myself what it is about the skills that makes a gym leader like her to take such a... What is that sense? He's country! <laughs> no, but it just grammatically makes no... I think it's about time for myself what it is about the skills that makes a gym leader like her to take a shine. Yeah, he's country. I didn't know country people couldn't speak. I mean, look at me. So I'll be trusting. <laughs> <laughs> Are you country? I, I mean, technically, technically a northerner, but I only lived up north for like two years. I live in this country, so I'm country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be trusting my old partner. He took out his Pokeball, and Extra Drill came out, growing but ready to battle. The announcer clapped her hands. Well then, let the battle begin. Joe Mama clapped her hands together. This is so exciting, I hope. Elisa slash Clay wins. Hugh nods, agreeing with her. He narrowed at the stage. Yeah, I hope so too. Excad Excadrill, open claws. The announcer gasped. Excadrill raised its accuracy, or attack and accuracy, she announced. Elisa smiled, giving Clay a congenial glare. 
Clay, dear, I see that my Amogo can't do very much to your lovely Pokemon, so it looks like I must send out someone else. Wait, is she stupid? Amoga. Why would she do that? <laughs> Amogo <laughs> can't get hit. Amogo is electric flying, and Excadrill is ground steel. Fuck? But since it's I a thought... flying type, it can't get hit by by an electric like ground. And also, ground can't get hit by electric. But like, you all you have is a Zebstrika. It's gonna get earthquake and die. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where was I? Uh, oh, the mogul then went towards Excadrill at full speed, attacked, and then went back to his Pokeball. The announcer grinned. The mogul used U-turn. Who will you send out next? The... Uh, it's another two spaces. The electric gym leader smirked, confusing Clay. Go Zebstrike... Zebstrika? Is it Zebstrika? Zebstrika, yeah. Zebstrika, he stared at her chosen Pokemon and chuckled, shaking his head. You think your Zebra can do anything to my Pokemon? You're uh, underestimating my ground techniques, he said, amused. Zebstrika neighs loudly, not pleased with him. It glares at the Excadrill. Suddenly, it released a large steam of swirling fire from its mouth towards the Pokemon. The crowd went quiet. Z Zebstrika used overheat. It seems like it hurt a lot, shouted the announcer, informing to the stunned crowd. The battle judge ran towards Excadrill and tried to spot any consciousness. The Pokemon, however, just laid there admitting his defeat. The battle judge nodded towards the announcer. She smiled and clenched her microphone. Clay's Pokemon fainted. Elisa is the winner. Wait, that's it? He just had one? Yeah, I guess. It's the 1v1. Or, wait, I guess two... <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> it's outnumbered. Everyone cheered. Clay's face dropped. Elisa smiled and waved at the audience. What are you folks doing in the city? After the battle, Q and Joe Mama met up with the gym leaders while the bodyguards tried to calm down the crowd behind them, wanting autographs and photos. Q grinned, looking towards Clay. We thought we should pay a visit to Elisa before heading to Drifel City. Me and this idiot are traveling around Innova, hoping to find some Team Plasma Punks. Joe Mama glared at him, shaking her head. She turned to the cowboy. How's it going, sir? Clay laughed. Haven't seen you in years, little miss. Forget about me, didn't y'all? <laughs> Elisa then hugged Joe Mama with all her might, kissing her on the cheek. Oh, Joe Mama, I missed you very much. <laughs> He turned to Samrot and smiled at him. And you, Samrot, still looking handsome as ever. Clay sighed, rolling his eyes at her actions. He turned towards Hugh and Joe Mama. So y'all be heading to Driftville? Let me take y'all youngsters there. I'm still thinking about country. <laughs> yes. We're, we're all country. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, if you really boil it down, we all are a little country. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like that there are two wolves inside of us. They're both they're one of them is country, the other one's country, you're a country. <laughs> <laughs> so cold storage problem? Wait a minute, doesn't this take place in the future? There is no cold storage. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> Alright, this is probably the last chapter we read, and then <laughs> and then we'll probably call it, but... Yeah, yeah. The, the, this doesn't exist anymore. The cold storage is gone. <laughs> Boo! You, you can just use a Pokemon, an yeah. ice Pokemon. Put yeah. it in a box. Yeah, cold I guess. Storage. There you go. God damn it. <laughs> the cold storage was a thing, but now that place has been re renovated into the PWC, so a bunch of trainers can just, like, beat the shit out of each other. Like, with Pokemon. <laughs> Not no, no, like, actually. With their fists. Yeah. Like, it's a tournament thing now. They don't have the cold storage anymore, so. <laughs> just wondering how this fits into the story. Image from X. Yeah, the thing. Official art. Cool. Damn. Damn, is it cold here? Oh, damn. Is it cold here? I don't know who's talking anymore. They had a ride to Driftville City. Joe Mama agreed with Hugh. 
hugging herself with warmth. Okay, it was Hugh. My bad. It's only autumn. Why is it so cold here? She said unbearable. Clay shrugged, fixing his hat. He looked towards the storage unit. It might be because of the cold storage down yonder. Anyway, y'all better toughen up because ahead, ahead is route. He quickly, and he then suddenly bumped his shoulder by a Team Plasma grunt who quickly ran past them by everyone without even saying sorry. Clay, are you alright? As Joe Mama worriedly. He shrugged it off and turned towards her. Don't worry, kid. I'm as tough as a bouffalant. He used a head charge. But Hugh was angry. He glared at the grunt and chased after him. Come back here, you plasma punk. He ran off, leaving Joe Mama and Samara dumbfounded. She grinned her teeth, frustrated. Hugh, wait! Ugh, and he tells me not to run off. Clay, where are they even heading? Uh, he shook his head, sighed tiredly. Looks like that Wander and your enemy ran off to the cold storage. They ran towards the unit, but quickly hid behind some crates when they noticed more Team Plasma grunts in the building. They seemed like they seemed like every corner they saw had at least one guard on duty. Samurai, who was by Joe Mama's side, growled quietly, frustrated at the amount of grunts. She nodded with his concern and looked over to Clay. It looks like... Oh, it looks like Team Plasma's at the trouble. What are they planning? He nodded, his eyes staring at the entrance of the cold storage. I wonder how that boy got inside, he said in skepticism. Suddenly, a pair of swaddle-like arms grabbed Clay, alerting Joe Mama and Samrod, who backed off quickly. They saw it was an Electros who was hugging them and restraining Clay. She immediately became worried for his safety as he growled angrily. I read something about his, this Pokedex in the Pokedex. In the, fuck it. <laughs> Pokedex in the Pokedex? God damn it. <laughs> this Pokemon in the Pokedex. They use their fangs to shock prey with electricity. Clay might get electrocuted if we fight back. Samurai growled loudly, getting in front of his training defensively. Joe Mama, however, grabbed him and pulled him back, narr narrowing at the Electros. Oh, there it is. At the the at and the the. Double space. <laughs> Double now, space, there it is. I'm noticing things now. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody, you're a water type. Let Bisharp or Lucario handle this, she whispered in a serious tone while pulling out their Pokeballs. Samrot stared at her hesitantly, but noticed as Xavier ran towards them quickly, forming a powerful and sh powering a strut of water from their hands. Samrot quickly pushed his trainer and himself down, dodging Xavier's attack. In the process, Joe Mama dropped her Pokeballs that ironically rolled towards the Team Plaza Grunt, who has been been attacking them. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Man, we suck at this. <laughs> he glared at them. Are you and the gym leader with that blue hair idiot? No, he's not with us. He uses blue hair and pronouns. No. -uh. <laughs> he sounded faced. He picked up the Pokeballs and gave them to another grunt that showed up in the call. Joe Mama clenched her teeth, finally having enough. <laughs> Samurai. Hydro Pump. Also having enough, Samra released a full jet, jet of water from its mouth towards the grunts. Before it landed, however, the Excelior from before got in front and used Protect, defending the grunts. The same grunt smirked at her, turning to his Electros. Get the gym leader out of here and tie him out. A time up, Electors use Giga Drain until Samra faints. The girl comes with me. Uh oh. Dun dun dun. Get, get him! Get him! <laughs> Alright. Well, how do you feel? <laughs> it's, a, it's a cliffhanger. Yeah. Can't believe this shit. <laughs> I found another double space in the last sentence. I mean, you're really good at this. <laughs> <laughs> you have like a knack for it at this point. You're like, yep, double space, double space, double space. More double spaces. I mean, when you read a lot of text, you can see it. Yeah. Well, anyway, how did you feel? Pretty, pretty decent. Yeah. Hmm. I definitely need more soda. Soda. Alright, well, I'm very excited for the next time we read this, but until then, we have to be at the mercy of the wheel. <laughs> uh-huh. What are, you, what are you hoping for from the wheel? Uh, I forgot what was on it. 
all of it. All right. All right, there's a lot of choices. We got Lu Waluigi X Rosalina, my, uh, Minecraft thing, Rodney and, and Ratchet, Scooby Doo, there's N, there's mine and your choice, there's Harvey, there's Shane, and Sebastian. All right, there's not enough curse shit on here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on, I'm, we're adding. What are we adding? <laughs> Actually, I've been wanting to, to uh, add in a Stanford X reader. If you, if you're cool with that. A what? Oh, do you do you know what Gravity Falls is? Uh, I know it, but I haven't like actually played it, watched it. And <laughs> you're stumbling through this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I haven't. Um. Damn. All right, I'll leave it off then. Because I highly doubt you want to read about a six-year-old man. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want to. I mean, I can't... I can't we, can, we can work with it. <laughs> what else do we put on here? What are the curse... Are you looking up curse fan fiction? <laughs> no, I'm not looking up curse fan fiction. I don't know. Usually we get curse shit when it lands on your choice, and you're like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick fucking Kung Fu Panda for us to read. Or, uh, or Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Alright, one sec. Damn. <laughs> Should we try to add stuff in next time? Or are you trying to add stuff in now? <laughs> uh Alright, alright. We're gonna add in. No. Never mind. <laughs> okay. There's like there's so many stories of like actual just real life people on this platform. Should we add Markiplier X reader? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> what real people are you pulling up? Because I always see the Markiplier ones. I'm on. I'm just like on the front page, honestly. On the you're on the front page of Wattpad. Oh, you sweet summer soul. <laughs> I feel bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What's wrong with the front page, though? Well, I guess it all depends, because the front page is curated for the for the user, so mine's filled with has-been and, like, cr like weird shit that, like, no one would ever want to read. And But when I see it, I'm like, hell yeah, this is some good shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would send someone in, like, a coma. Because <laughs> I highly doubt anyone else is getting, uh, like... Oh fuck! Creepy pasta recommended to them, and like, oh, I'm trying to remember the name. Oh, dramatical murder recommended to them as well. No, that's some cursed shit. We can add creepy pasta to the list. What, just like a random one? Yeah. Do you know what creepy pastas are? <laughs> what are like horror stories? Yeah, it's like Slenderman, uh, Jeff the Killer, Tiki Toby, Eyeless Jack. It's like those guys. I don't know if you're familiar with any of that stuff. No, but we could. We could try it. All right, I'll add it in here. There we go. Creepy pasta. It sounds like a spooky Italian dish. <laughs> Creepy, Creepy pasta. pasta. <laughs> all right. Do you, all right. We ready? Do you want to spin it? Uh yeah. Okay. Watch it land on Creepypasta, as we just added it. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I fucking hate the wheel. <laughs> the wheel does not provide. <laughs> the wheel taketh away. <laughs> now I have to find something. Yeah. Hey, you find the best books. That's how we... Is that how we got the, the Hero Brian X Reader thing? <laughs> I think so. I was just yeah. literally thinking of what does not make sense and yeah. just put it in there at least you have a week you know i'll decide on the the same day yeah <laughs> good. i'll find something in five minutes that's a masterpiece yeah <laughs> garlic bread x reader and you're like oh this is the good shit all right <laughs> <laughs> yes all right do you have any final thoughts on this do you have anything you want to say 
about the the NX reader that we just read? It was uh, pretty good, pretty good, pretty grammatically correct for the most part. Nice scenery. Good nice setting. scenery. Is good what character development. Uh, the production value was good. You know, we read a book, not a. Not, we didn't watch a film. <laughs> no, I wasn't imagining everything in my head though. Okay, good, good, excellent. <laughs> Like, if you're curious about the book, I'll make sure to link it down below this time. I <laughs> Last time we read this, I said read the book here and didn't put the fucking link. <laughs> like an idiot. <laughs> you should find yourself. Yeah. I don't know how many times I've- I've done that so many times. Like, I'll go back and be like, oh, I can't remember- I can't find the link. Or I'll just go to the, the, the YouTube video and just grab it from there. And, it, and then it's blank also. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Because I think at the time, I'm like, oh, I'll get the link in a second, and then I forget, and I just move on to the next steps of the video process. <laughs> uh-huh. And then, uh, oh, fuck, what's my script? Oh, yeah. On screen is a playlist of all the other Wattpad book club readings I've done with other people, including Minho, and then there's Sage, and then there's Jolene, and then there's, like, other people. They're pretty cool. Like, some of them, eh, you know? But, and then also is the last Wattpad book club I've done that was last uploaded do that. <laughs> they don't have the brain power anymore. <laughs> I feel like my brain is melting. Maybe I should go get a CT scan <laughs> after this. Yeah, go get that while you're at it. Yeah. But anyway, my name is Phoenix, that was Minho, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>